Next is a class on the Bhagavad Gita as it is. First chapter, text number 40. Given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada. Recorded on July 28, 1973, in London, England. Translation When irreligion is prominent in the family, O Krishna, the women of the family become corrupt, and from the degradation of womanhood, O descendant of Vrishni, comes unwanted progeny. This is very important point. <coughs> For good population, uh, without good population uh, in the society, gentlemen, culture, educated, <coughs> following the rules and regulations of religious principles, how we can expect peace and prosperity? That is not possible. <coughs> so the whole Vedic system was meant for having very good population. Uh, not such kind of population uh, who are addicted to killing and drinking and so many other sinful activities. No, then you cannot check. If such population is there, then everything will be polluted, especially nowadays, because uh, there is one top good population and they go and the government uh, and how you can expect good government, good administration, uh, the whole population is polluted. Therefore, in such a great state, USA, the president is being uh, tried and is being criticized. Uh, so there must be good population. Uh, so to have good population, the woman should be very chaste. Uh, that is the basic principle of Vedic civilization. And to keep the woman chest, uh, it was the function of the responsible father, or in the absence of father, the elder brother. Uh, he must get the woman, the girl, uh, married. It is compulsory. Uh, there is no compulsory for man to marry because a man may remain brahmachari. Uh, by training he can abstain from sex. But if woman is not protected very strictly, it is very difficult. It is very difficult. Uh, Chanakya Pandit has it is not, it is you are discussing Shastra. Don't think otherwise. <laughs> Chanaka Pandit says, Vishasa naiva kartavam sri suraja kulesa. Vishasa naiva kartavam. Don't trust Omen. Vishasa naiva kartavam sri su. Sri su means Omen. Rajakul and politicians. Yes. Vishasana Iva Kattabha Sri Su Rajakulesu. Never trust the politician and all that. Of course, when Omen comes to Krishna consciousness, that position is different. We are speaking of ordinary Omen. Because Krishna says in another place, Sriyava Ishasta Thashudra. They are considered women, Vaishya, the mercantile community, and Sudra, <coughs> and the worker class. They are less intelligent. Bhapujoni, 
when the progeny is defective, then they become less intelligent. So Krishna says, Mangi part of a past sitya, JP su papa juna. Sriya vishya satha sudra, sri vijanti parangati. Even <coughs> papa juna, degraded birth, even over sudra and vishya, they also can become fully Krishna conscious by training. Uh, and they can also go back to home, back to order without any check. So when we study things from material point of view, these things are to be taken care of. Uh, but when <coughs> uh, a man or woman becomes Krishna conscious, he or she takes care of herself or himself. So uh, it is spoken, Arjuna is speaking of ordinary woman. Sri Su Dushtasu. Just like Adharma Abhi Bhava Adharma. If the woman is trained, a girl is trained from the very beginning, that you should remain chaste. Uh, uh, that is dharma. It is called satitta dharma. Sati means chastity. There are many uh, stories of sati, chaste woman. Naladamayanti. <coughs> his, his husband became so poverty stricken. Uh, he was king, but he became later on so poverty stricken that uh, he had no sufficient cloth. Uh, so the husband and wife was uh, putting on the same cloth, half and half. So still, still there was no divorce. You see? Still the woman did not consider she was also king's daughter. But the <coughs> husband has fallen down to so much poverty-stricken condition. So oh, why shall I leave it? These are some of the extreme examples of chastity. Not to speak of olden days, I have seen in Bombay in 1935 or 34. Uh, on the roadside there was a beggar. The beggar, the face was defaced. Might be some accident. Uh, his eyes and everything became defaced. He could not see everything being useless. So he, he was sitting on the roadside and his wife also also sitting. Uh, but I saw that beggar was neat and clean, the wife was also neat and clean. The wife's business was uh, that to keep the husband always neat and clean and fresh and bring him there and again take him at home, young woman. Uh, so I could understand that the wife is so chaste, she has not left such ugly husband because his face was defaced, and helping him because they required some money. So we have seen. Uh, there are many stories uh, of chaste women. Uh, many stories. Uh, there was one disciple of Ramanuja Charge, uh, very poor. So Ramanuja Charge. <coughs> came in that poor disciple's house and he saw uh, there was no one in the house. So he thought, what is this? This is my disciple's house, this family man, why there is none? That means <coughs> he could understand that the door is not 
locked, door was closed only, then uh, he could understand that within the door his wife is there. Uh, therefore he knocked the door and uh, there was response also knocking, but she could not come out. That means she, she was so poor that she had no garment. She was keeping herself within the room naked. So Ramanuja could understand that there is his wife, maybe she has no sufficient clothing. So immediately his own clothes he gave within the room. And the woman came out putting on that. And then offered obeisance. So he could understand the position that very, very poor, even no clothing. So after putting on the cloth, he uh, went to the grocer's home because Ramanuchat is there, she must receive uh, grocer's home. The grocer and knew that this woman is very woman, uh, very poor. So his business was to entice her. But she never agreed, although she was young. And now this woman went to the grocer's hall that uh, you know that I am very poor. I require immediately some grains, ghee, and other things, my Guru Maharaj has come at home, I must see. So tonight I agree with your proposal. Please give me. Uh, even at the sacrifice of my chastity I want. Uh, so the grocer was very glad. Oh, no, this woman I can't best have tried to induce her. She never agreed and now she is agreed. So, all right, you take whatever you like, take. So she has given all kinds of food grains as much as she wanted, and she cooked and gave to the spiritual master and his associates, his, uh, his servants. Everything was very nice. In the meantime, the husband came working whole day, and he saw that uh, everything was nicely done. Uh, Guru Maharaj is paid and his associates are paid. So he, he asked his wife, <coughs> how did you get all these things? Then she narrated the whole story. Uh, then the husband also said, yes, you have promised. All right, take some prasadam and go to him. Because you have promised to meet him this evening. Uh, so go. Then the grocer heard the whole story and his mind became changed. Oh, such a chaste woman, such a faithful, oh, see, you are my mother. Huh? You take more uh, ingredients, grains, as much as you like. So there are still, that is not very long ago, so this was the training, and the psychology is that woman, uh, the first man she meets, uh, and if she is kept carefully, she becomes staunch lover. This is psychology. Uh, there is good psychology in maintaining the society. Therefore, a woman. Uh, especially in India, especially in Bengal, before attaining puberty, uh, she was married. Uh, not to meet the husband unless she attains puberty. But she remained at father's house. But she must know that I am married, I am not husband. This cycle. Uh, then she becomes very chaste. Because she thinks of her husband and becomes more and more devoted. So this arrangement 
that uh, old man must be married before puberty. Uh, or if not at all, she must get a husband. So in this dharma, it is called konnada. Konnada. Konnada means it is uh, very obligatory that the father must get the daughter married. This is dharma. So if this dharma or this religious principle is violated, that is, Arjuna is marking, adharma bhi kavi bhava. When people become neglectful of the family tradition and religious principles, adharma avi bhava, Krishna pradushyanti kulastriya. Kulastriya. Kulastriya means, kula means family. And striya means omen. So omen must be belonging to a respectable family. Therefore it is said kulastri. Not society that. Kulastriya of the family. We have got experience in our college days. I was sitting in a friend's house, and one sweeper, woman, sweeper with broomstick and uh, with what is called covering, uh, she was standing, say, about twenty years distant from her sitting place. So I asked my friend that your this sweeper woman wants to come in. She she is waiting because we are sitting. She is uh, ashamed to come. So let us come. Her. So we stood separately. That means although she was a sweeper woman, still we had to honor her uh, to enter. We stood up separately. She was feeling that how can I go between two men? And this we have seen in our. So this is uh, Vedic culture. Women uh, should not be allowed to mix with men. Uh, not allowed. In Japan also, the same system. Before marriage they can mix, but after marriage they cannot mix. Uh, in Japan also I have seen. Uh, but in India, uh, uh, still, the system is there. Woman uh, without husband cannot talk with any man. Uh, uh, that is also psychological. Uh, in the Bhagavad it is stated that uh, man is like uh, ghee, butter pot, and woman is like fire. Therefore, as they as soon as there is fire and butter pot, the butter pot must melt. Therefore they should be kept aside. These are the statements. And the Shastra says that in a solitary place you should not remain even with your daughter, even with your sister, even with your mother. Matra sasra dhuhitrava nami vikta saneva se balavan indira grama viddham sa vikar sati. Either your mother or sister or daughter. Nobody becomes lusty with mother or sister or daughter. But Shastra says even your mother or sister or daughter, you should not leave in a solitary place. Then one may question how it is possible. No. The Shastra says, Balavan in the grama. The senses are so strong that it becomes polluted. Now it may be 
some rascal fools maybe polluted like no sasa vidyam sab kar sakti even the most learned he can be polluted so sometimes ah in india i am criticized that i keep women and men in the same temple in india there is not a law no man can leave at night they can come and go but i defend myself that this is the system of the country the women and men the intermingle how can i check then the women shall i not give them any chance for chanting hari krishna no i shall do this chance i shall give this chance to all men even at the risk that is my uh, <clears throat> so therefore uh, chastity is very very important thing for producing good population nice population so unless the population is good if the population become hippies then how there can be any peace and prosperity therefore to produce children there is sanskar first sanskar is garbhadhan sanskar this is called kula dharma garbhadhan sanskar means when especially the high caste brahmana khatriya especially shudra uh, not shudra shudra has no sanskar only the higher class brahmana khatriya and vaishya the uh, vaishya also sometimes no sanskar but brahmana chatri master sanskar dasavida sanskar ten kinds of sanskar one of the sanskar sanskar means purificatory method one of the sanskar is also marriage uh, one must get married so before the child is given birth there is sanskar what is called garbhadhan sanskar uh, it is not that the husband and wife uh mix without any restriction and have sex life at any time no uh, you know that uh that mother of hiranyakashipu kashyap muni i think father so see the woman became very much sexually uh, excited and and the husband Uh, replied that this is not time. This is very bad time. Evening. Uh, why you are insisting? Uh, but she was too much lusty, and because the husband was a black, the hero no kosi too was born. A demon was born. Uh, therefore, there is garbhada and sanska to find out when the husband and wife should mix and give birth to a child. that when the bhagavad gita i will see that sex life which is according to the principle of religious ideas that is i am the sex life is not bad provided it is uh, executed according to the religious principle uh, so garbhadhan sanskar just what is the idea the idea is the child born must be first class hmm. he will be able to become krishna conscious he will be able to understand the shastras the vedas he must have the good brain these were the ideas uh, but if they are not born in that way like cats and dog that is called varna sankara varna uh, sankara you cannot uh, specify Whether he is a Brahmana or a Khatri or a Vaishya or a Sudra, that is called Varna Sankara. So Varna Sankara population is not good. Varna Sankara, no caste, no designation, no definition to which class this man belongs. so at the present moment because these purificatory processes are not accepted even in india except when they are unable everything has topsy turvy therefore this shastra says that 
accept everyone as sudra. Kalo sudra sambhala. There is no more Brahmin, Chhatri or Vaishya. All sudra. You have to accept. Because no Vedic culture, no Garbhadana Sanskrit, they are born like cats and dogs. So where is this division? They cannot be. Therefore, accept them as Sudra. Varna Shankar is less than Sudra. So at least Sudra they should be. So there is no Vedic Dikha. For Sudra there is no Dikha. There is no initiation. See, initiation is meant for the persons who are born in Brahmana family, Chhatriya family, or Vaishya family. The Shudra has no initiation. So in India there are professional gurus. They initiate Shudras, but do not eat food start touched by the disciples. Now there are so many things. They, if he is initiated, how he can remain sudra? But they keep him sudra. At the same time, they become guru. So Sanatana Goswami gives direction in the Hari Bhakti Vilas that tatha dikha vidhane na dijattam jayate nina. If properly initiated, he becomes immediately brahma. Dijatyam. Vija means second birth. Jatha kanchana tan jati kamsa raso vidhanaka. There is a chemical process that kamsa, bell metal, can be turned into gold by mixing with proportionately mercury. Now here is a hint of chemistry. If anyone can prepare gold, but it is very difficult to mix mercury. Uh, as soon as there is little heat, immediately the mercury is finished. Uh, so there is a process. Uh, everything has process. Many yogis know how to make gold from copper. Uh, actually, uh, chemically, copper, tin, and mercury, if you mix proportionately, it will be gold. So, Sanatana Goswami. Uh, gives this example uh, as the uh, copper and tin. Uh, these two metals mixed with mercury, there can be production of gold. Similarly, by proper initiation, by the proper spiritual master, one, Sudra, even though he is a Sudra less than Sudra, Varnasaṅka or Chandala, he can become Dijo. Brahman. So our process is to make Dija Pancharatri ki vidhi. Pancharatri ki vidhi. That is the commandment. Sruti Siti Puranadi Pancharatri ki vidhi ki vina. Ui kanti ki harer bhakti utpatae vakalpati. Rupa Goswami gives this direction. That the initiation must be done. According to Sruti, Sriti or Pancharat. There is Naya Prasthan, Sruti Prasthan and Smriti Prasthan to make spiritual progress in three ways. By the Vedanta philosophy or Vedic ways or according to Smriti. Smriti means authorized books written in accordance with Sruti, Sruti Sriti. Just like Bhagavad Gita. Bhagavad Gita is not directly Vedas, but the, all the stanzas of Bhagavad Gita, they are strictly according to the Naya Prasthan and Sutip Prasthan. So any book which is strictly written according to the Vedas and Vedantas, that is also accepted as Vedic literature. So Pancharatri ki vidhi means that it doesn't matter whether man is Sudra or Chandala. Chandala means less than Sudra, Panchama, the fifth grade. First class Brahmana, second class Kshatriya, third class Vaishya, fourth class Sudra, and below this fourth class they are all Chandalas. Chandalas means Panchama. 
uh, untouchable. They are called untouchable. Uh, so in the untouchables, uh, because Krishna has said, Manghi Partha Bapasita Jeepi Shu Papujuna. The Papujani Chandal means Papujani, born of low grade family. Uh, the Bhagavad says, Sukadeva Goswami says that uh, Kirata Hunanda Puninda Pukkasa Abhira Sumbha Javana Kasada. Yeah? Uh, Javana, Mritsa Javan. Uh, they, they are called, <coughs> they are also counted among the Chandalas. Uh, uh, jip, Jenni to Papa, and even lower than that. Jenni to Papa. Shuddhanti, they become purified. How? Prabhu Vishnavi, no more. When they are initiated to become Krishna conscious. Uh, so if one may argue, how it is possible to make a Chandala a Vaishnava? No, that is possible. Uh, Prabhu Vishnavi, no Vishnu is so powerful. Omnipotent, he can do that. So only by Vishnu mantra, by becoming a Vaishnava, one can transcend all these restrictions, uh, sociology, you can understand. Uh, that is confirmed by Krishna. Mancha bhavicharini bhakti yogena jasevate sagunana samati taitana brahma bhuyayavala. Immediately. Uh, he transcends. He is in the Brahma platform, uh, one who has taken very seriously this devotional service. He is no more on this material platform. So long we are in the material platform, these distinctions, Brahman, Jatri, Vaishya, Varna, Shankar, they are considered. But when one is transcendentally situated, simply in pure, unallied service of the Lord, he is no more in the material platform. He is in the spiritual platform, Brahma Bhuyayakal. Uh, he is all in the Brahma platform. Brahma platform means Sagunana Samutitta Eta. Uh, this material platform means three modes of material nature. Satagon, Rajagon, Tamagon. Uh, here in one is Brahmana. Satagon means the Brahminical qualification. He is also contaminated. He is also contaminated. He is conditioned by the material nature, and what to speak of Sudra and Varna Shankara. Everyone is conditioned uh, by the material nature. They will jis agunamai. Well, Brahmana means to be situated, a first-class prisoner. A first-class prisoner is also prisoner. Uh, you cannot say that is free. No. Free is different from a first-class prisoner. Sometimes any respectable gentleman, some political offense, he is put into jail, just like Gandhi also went to jail and so many others. But they are given the place, first class prisoners. They got servant, they got separate bungalow, and books, library, all facilities, but they cannot go out of it. They are called first class prisoners. So to become a Brahmana means to become a first class prisoner. That's all. So our, our point of view is not to become a first-class prisoner, to get out of the prison. That is position of Krishna. You'll find, uh, last night I have uh, given comments, the Madhavendra Puri, he was performing the Annakut ceremony and installing the deity. So everything was being Brahmana, done by Brahmana, qualified Brahmana. But uh, Madhavendra Puri initiated them again to become Vaishnava. Then he gave them in charge of the deity world. Uh, so the Vaishnava uh, functions cannot be done even by a Brahman. Even one is qualified Brahman. Uh, he is unfit to propagate Vaishnava philosophy. That is stated in the Shastra. Sat karma nipuna vipra mantra tantra visharada. A Vaishnava guru nasasyat. Sat Vaishnava sapacho guru. Sapacho means chandala, uh, who was eating dog. 
that is considered the lowest. Uh, there are different kinds of meat eaters. Uh, but in India, the cow place it as their dung. Some of them are eating hogs, even dogs, but there was no, no government will not allow to eat the cow flesh, no. That is not. If you want to eat flesh, you can eat hogs and dogs and other goats also. But you cannot touch a cow. This is restriction. First of all, they should not be meat eaters. But if you are a staunch meat eaters, then you cannot touch cow. You can eat some other animal. That is sapacha. Sapacha means the dog eaters. In Korea and some parts of there, they eat dogs. Uh, they, uh, they sell dog flesh publicly. Uh, so in India also there is a class. In Assam side, they eat also dog. So the dog eaters, they are considered lowest of the mankind. So there is a sapacha. Sa means dog. And pacha means who cook. Sapacha means chanda. If, if a man from the sapacha family, or the Chandala family, he becomes a Vaishna strictly according to the orders, then he can become Guru. But not a Brahmana if he is not a Vaishna. This is the stiction. Even one is born in the family of a Brahmana, and he is not only born, he is qualified. Shat karma nipuna. Nipuna means qualified. Brahmana has got six kinds of occupation. Uh, he must be learned himself, he must be able to teach others Vedic literatures, that is called Pathan or Pathan. Then he must worship, uh, worship means demigods, uh, or they consider that any demigod or god, the same, is some impersonalist. So jajana jajan. there are other also religious ritual functions, they perform, that is called jajan. Jajana uh, Jajan and Dana Pratigraha. A Brahmana takes contribution. A Brahman is never engaged in service uh, like Sudra. That is Sudra's business. So these are called dharmas. There are so many uh, departmental dharmas. So Arjuna is referring to this as Adharma Vibhavat Krishna. When these principles are sacrificed and there is uh, opening of adharma, irreligious principles, then the result will be adharma avivavat krishna pradushanti kulastriya. Then the, the stricture will be withdrawn and the family omen, and omen, they will be polluted. And as soon as the omen uh, is polluted, three should be stashed. 